here's my next technique challenge for you. On this layout, you'll see I have a shadow of the bike and, and the rider on the background layer. And this shadow is actually much easier to create uh, than you might imagine. And so let me show you this quick tip on how you can create these shadows to make a, an artistic, cool layout for your kids. I'm going to go ahead and turn that shadow layer off. And you'll see here in, in my sidebar, I have extracted him from the bike. So I'm going to duplicate that layer because I want to keep this original layer safe. Then I'm going to simply apply my drop shadow to this new layer. And I'm going to click the FX to bring up the style settings. And I'm going to raise the distance all the way up, whoops, but not too far up, until he is just off of the original extraction and he's uh, down here and I, I played with this earlier and I found that 13,000 worked pretty well uh, you see the shadows just below that part of the bike it's a little bit off the page but we're going to take care of that uh, by simply grabbing and moving this bike up for right now it doesn't matter that this we can turn this other one off in the background if we wanted to um, next, I'm going to right-click and choose Simplify Layer. And now you can see in my little thumbnail, I have a bike up here with the, the shadow below it. So I'm going to grab my eraser tool, make it uh, really large, and simply erase that bike. And now I have this bike on a separate layer. I see a little bit more that I do need to erase of the wheel. And now I have this on a separate layer. And I can move this uh, to any other place in the layout. If I wanted to, I could put it you know, somewhere right there on the photo. Um, as you will recall, when you first looked at it, I put it down here uh, in this area, but I had to move it below the photo because I wanted uh, it to look like it was on the background paper. So you could also resize it and put it much smaller somewhere. just move it around and get creative and use your imagination. Um, it's just that simple to create a, uh, a shadow that you can um, artistically place somewhere else on your layout. And, you know, I'm just sticking it over here just so you can see, uh, but you can also uh, move it somewhere maybe and apply uh, some blending modes to it. So there is another um, cool way to have it. Use your imagination, get to playing, and please um, share with me if you use this tutorial. Upload your layouts to the gallery and um, share, and have fun!